Hi, and welcome back to Rune 101. If you see my necklace moving around, my little one is up on the chair with me, and she's playing with it, just to let you know, FYI. The runes we will be covering today are I Wars, Perth, and I hope I'm pronouncing this one right. It's Algies. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. I will learn it. Anyway. I was looks like that. That's what I was looks like. I hope you can see that. That's I was. I was is the rune of defense. English letter equivalent is Y as in U or long I as in side. The translation is U tree, meaning Yew tree, anchors bow, weapon, magic, uh, deflection, prevention. The characteristics. I was, or I was, is the symbol of rune magic. Advertive, deflective, or defensive power is yours. Patience, perseverance, foresight, and protection against unexpected attack. Wisdom in adversity. The yew tree has mistakenly been linked with death because of the ancient practice of planting yew hedges around graveyards. Because I waters is rune number 13, that is the origin of the unlucky 13th superstition of Anglo-Saxon culture. <clears throat> but the real reason the yew was planted was to keep out unwanted scavenging animals. The evergreen yew is both poisonous and impenetrable year-round. These yew, now grown to huge garland old trees, are still to be found in many early British churchyards. I waters should not be feared because it also means continuity and endurance. The best long bows were always made from yew trees. As well as being strong, long-lasting, and flexible, they contain protective magic. Thus, I waters also represents safety from attack and a weapon of defense. Iwaters has no reverse, but the converse. Your defensive abilities are dormant and must be realized. What appears as a danger will be easily adverted through patience and concentrated effort. The correspondences for, Il or for Iwaters. The runic number is 13. The gemstone is topaz. The tree is yew. The plant is lilac. The color is magenta. The elements are earth, air, fire, and water. The polarity is male. The associated god is Ullr. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. It's spelled U-L-L-R. The astrological correspondence is Scorpio. And the tarot card associated with it is... The next rune we are going to be learning is Perth, and Perth looks like, let me show you what Perth looks like real quick, I'm sorry, I had to put my daughter down for a second, so I kind of lost my place. Do, do, do. Perth looks like that, but that's Perth. And Perth is the rune of chance, mystery, and science. The English letter equivalent is P as in pot. The literal translation is not certain. It is usually taken to be the name of a dice cup, or the name of a game of chance that might employ such a cup. The meaning is mystery, chance, a gamble, potluck in modern usage, science and technology. Characteristics. A gamble, a mystery, an unknown outcome. Mathematical odds. Make the best of your lot. Employ common sense and moderation to succeed. Spiritually, Perth suggests the disclosure of a secret. 
It could also refer to pregnancy and birth. Birth is linked with the sensible and moderate enjoyment of sexuality. Because of the mystery surrounding it, common sense and prudence are called for in the interpretation of Perth. The reverse. Take no chances. Failure is likely. What appears clear-cut hides a deeper meaning. You are tempted to be rash, but do not succumb. Converse. A proposition has hidden depth. Take nothing for granted. Trust only your loved ones. The correspondences for Perth. The runic number is 14. The gemstone is aquamarine, the tree is aspen, and the plant is aconite. The color is black, the element is water, the polarity is female, the associated gods is frig, and the astrological correspondence is Saturn. The tarot card is the will of fortune, um, but it can also be the hung man. And the next rune is, let me learn how to pronounce this really quick, because I don't think that I'm pronouncing it right. I really like this book, because it has pronunciations. Anyway, the next rune is Elhaz. And Elhaz looks like... <clears throat> El has looks like that. That is El has, and El has is the rune of protection and opportunity. The English letter equivalent is Z as in zone, S as in cousin. May also have been the rolling R heard in Scottish uh, dialect. You know. R. Uh, translation, possibly pine woods, or more likely uh, sage reeds. Meaning, opportunity for growth, rapid development, protection, safe refuge. Characteristics. Elhaz illuminates both the antlers of the elk and the shape of the sedgegrass herd. To some it suggests the sp spread fingers of a hand raised in a protective gesture. It is a powerful rune of protection and spirituality. It symbolizes reaching up to the, to the divine. It also represents success through endeavor in a search, quest, or other enterprise. Like the fast-growing pine tree, schemes will develop quickly, like sharp sage. You are protected from attack. Alertness and awareness will be a, uh, your guide. Wisdom, vision, and clarity of mind will aid your cause. Um, the reverse, slow growth or decline. You may be unprotected, open to attack. Beware of being pig-headed or short-sighted. Converse, growth or development opportunities are disguised. Insurance may not be as effective as you believe. And the correspondences, the runic number is 15. The gemstone is amethyst. The tree is service. And the plant is sedgegrass, and it's spelled S-E-D-G-E, -E, and then grass. The color is gold, the element is air, the polarity is male, the associated god is Himdale again, astrological correspondence is cancer, and the tarot card is the hermit, but it can also be the moon. So there is that. And I will be right back with another one. Stay tuned.